welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I have a skincare haul from Amazon. I got all of these products from Amazon and I already did a makeup haul and you can see how I did this look actually in there. So check out my previous video on the Amazon haul where I got some makeup. This one is specifically for skincare and hair care as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you are someone who's new to this channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it here. I hope you like my vibe. I hope you like my content and if you like more you can hit the subscribe button and also notification bell because that way you can get you know notified every time i upload a new video so without further ado let's get started so the first thing i have to i got here is this neutrogena this is the hydro boost this is a toner so i got this because i really wanted i really got this only because of the word hydrating toner because it is supposedly a hydrating toner so i love the packaging first of all so minimalist i love it so much um i haven't used it yet like i have used it once actually um i don't know how i feel about it it has a little bit of fragrance to it when i was getting it i didn't know it has fragrance i mean the fragrance is not too much but it's also not quite mild so yeah i really don't know yeah if the fragrance is yeah there is fragrance so i i don't know why i got it um because i really wish that this didn't have that fragrance to it uh, it doesn't linger on my skin but to be very honest i wish this didn't have fragrance because yeah it was quite a lot i think it was around 800 rupees um i don't even know the price of this um yeah it was 950 so for 950 honestly i don't know if it's worth it or not i still haven't used it that much uh so we'll see how it goes so the next product that i actually absolutely love and i am going to recommend this to you guys is the epi soft this is a sunscreen now this has 30 spf in it this sunscreen doesn't have any fragrance to it this sunscreen doesn't have any uh white cast to it and this sunscreen is moisturizing so all of this tree in a sunscreen it's got to be a very good sunscreen the only thing is that i wish this was 50 you know spf so that i really love my sunscreens to be 50 spf but it's 30 so i can wear it at home if this looks so good inside like underneath makeup as well and as you can see in the video in the clip that i applied the sunscreen i have been applying this every single day i since i got it and i absolutely love it now a lot of the times this is a sunscreen that the dermatologist recommends you know uh actually this was suggested to me by a friend like my by my best friend this she suggested me to try this uh but it was like two years back and i didn't listen to her i didn't know i don't know why it was uh, suggested like it was recommended by her dermatologist to her and she said to me that it is so good you should try it and i forgot to try it and uh, recently i saw this on amazon and i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a shot another friend of mine she also she said that this uh sunscreen was good so i finally got it and oh my god i'm impressed so the next product I have here is from Plum. So this is the Plum Pit Cream. This is like a, you know, deodorant cream kind of a thing. So first of all, the fragrance. It's so good. It is like a vanilla cupcake, you know, it smells like that. So I really love the fragrance. I have to tell you guys that. But I don't know how much I like it as like a deodorant cream because it does stay, it does stay on for quite some time. But the problem I have with this one is that after a few, like why, like after two to three hours, I'll see that this gave me like white patches on my skin. Uh, it would show up on my underarm, like, you know, underarm hairs too. So that was something I didn't enjoy about this. But yeah, I have used this only like twice. So I'll have to test it out more in order to give you guys like a full on review. So far, love, love, love the whole scent to it it does last long too but i really don't know the armpit situation wasn't really that great so the next product i have here is actually a repurchase it is a skincare you know a face mask actually this is from boo botanicals and if you have been on my channel for quite some time you would have noticed that i talked about this uh brand um uh, last year in my videos so this is the face mask it has matcha green tea and bamboo in it this is to be honest one of my favorite skincare products and this is one of my favorite actually face masks to use when i feel like i want that brightening effect on my skin this gives your skin that amazing brightening effect and not only that it makes my skin look feel so smooth and i just love how this makes my skin feel so this is not like a whole lo long term effect kind of a product it, it gives you instant effect like for example if you really want to go out for an event you want to look nice your skin is feeling very dull this is what i like to use 
even before filming my videos i like to use this because i feel like it just brightens up my skin so nicely so yeah it has small beads to it as well which kind of like acts as a physical exfoliator not really harsh i don't use harsh physical exfoliators on my uh, face um so yeah it's not harsh at all i really love it and i already used like two bottles of this this is my third purchase of this face mask so coming on to hair uh, I got this Arata, I think that's how you pronounce it, Arata hair cream. This is a hair styling cream. Oh my god, it is not good, you guys. Like, I I don't know, I have used this once again. I have used this once. I have to use this quite some time before giving you guys my final thoughts. But for the first impression wasn't that good. Um, I used this uh, on my, you know, like half dried hair. Uh, after using it, my hair was in such a bad condition. My hair was very sticky. My hair didn't feel like it was light anymore like light and fluffy like how it is right now no none of that it was kind of sticky it was kind of feeling heavy um i don't know if i did use it in a wrong way i really don't know it is supposed to be like a very no toxin kind of a uh, hair care uh, brand so i really don't know how i feel about this to be very honest because i used this once it didn't really look you know good on me so i'll have to use this again and see if this is any good so that the next product I have here is this argan oil. So this argan oil is actually a very hyped up argan oil. Uh, the brand I think this I don't I don't even know the brand name, but I have seen a lot of people talk about this argan oil, and I used it like twice. Uh, I have used this twice, and I loved it. I loved how it made my hair look so shiny. It actually did uh, help me with the whole frizzy problem that I always say I have. And yeah, it just, it, it, it honestly, it was a little bit expensive. I wouldn't say expensive, but it wasn't like really affordable. I think it was $7.99 for a hair oil and it is very tiny, I know, but you need the very tiniest amount when you apply this on your hairs, very, very tiny amount. So I would say I really like it. I mean, honestly, I used it twice, but so far it was really good. I mostly applied it on my ends. Today also before like, you know, curling my hair, I did apply it on the ends and I feel like it does give me that shine and it does, you know, help me with the whole smoothness and the whole freeziness problem as well. So the last skincare that I have here is this Requil uh, Underarm Cream. So I got this mainly to just test it out, you know, uh, because you guys know I have a very separate underarm routine, but this, uh, but the products that I use for underarms are actually skincare products. So I use it for my underarms too, but I don't have a dedicated underarm cream or a product that I can use it specifically for my underarms. So that is why I got this. My underarms, I mean, I'm so sorry to just flash my underarms on the screen but i feel like my underarms are doing quite well these days uh it doesn't look that dark under there so i have been you know uh, sticking to my routine quite continuously so i would say i don't know if i'm going to see a difference with this one i will stop using my routine as of now um since i'm going to use this cream and going to see if this is going to you know help with my underarm situation like it's going to lighten up my underarm area so it says it's going to lighten up my underarm area and it's going to just you know give it like a very even skin tone type of a look we are still not there yet so we'll see how this goes and uh, it says it reduces rough scaly skin texture which i have really rough texture underneath my arms i think everybody does so i really don't know how it's going to solve that solution because underarms are supposed to be rough i really don't so i have no idea but we'll see how this goes i generally love recoil products so i have good hopes for this but i'm not like you know certain that this is going to do the thing but we'll see how it goes so that was it for my small skincare body care hair care everything we had in today's video was really good i really liked it uh we'll see how everything goes in a month i will update you guys on these uh, products that i got so far i would definitely urge you guys to get the sunscreen it is one of the best sunscreen i have used and yeah that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can hit the subscribe button it is just right down there and follow me on instagram too if you like the vibe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye, -bye.